Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generate Press and Generate Blocks. In the last couple of videos, I demonstrated how to create a custom content template and a page hero using the block element module and dynamic content in GP Premium 2.0. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an author box like this. This is one of the popular requests we receive in our support forum and we use to recommend a plugin solution. Now with the addition of dynamic content in GP Premium 2.0, we can actually build one quite easily. Let's get started. First, we will go to dashboard plugins and make sure we have GPP version 2.0 or above installed along with generous blocks. Here I'm also using Yoast in order to get the social profile URL meta field. Now let's go to users. So these are the required fields if you want to add some social icons with your author box. Every SEO plugin should offer these fields. And here are some biographical info, which is also known as author description. Let's go to appearance, element, add new, block, and create. We will be using hook for the element type and generate after entry content for the hook name. Set the priority to five so it will appear before the default footer meta. I will also edit the editor width to 800 pixels. Now let's add our container. And I will quickly style it starting with topography, then spacing, then colors. Inside the container, we will add a grid wrapper. Select the 50-50 grid, then select the first container, set it to 15%. Select the second container and set it to 85%. Inside the first container, we're going to add a GP dynamic image block. Type, we will use author avatar. Increase the image size to 80 pixels and make image rounded. Inside the second container, we will start with a headline block. Set it to paragraph, click dynamic options, text type, we will use post author name, link, we will link it to author archives. Now I will quickly style it again, starting with typography, then spacing, then colors, Below the author name, we will add a GP dynamic content block. Type will be author description. Now let's add a second container for the social icon links. I'll quickly style it again, starting with spacing, then colors. Inside the container, 
we will add a buttons block. First, select the buttons container and set the alignment to right. Now select the button, open dynamic options, go to link type, user meta, meta field name starting with Facebook. Now let's quickly style it again, starting with spacing. Then colors. Lastly, we will configure the icon. Let's duplicate the button. Open dynamic options. This one we will go with LinkedIn. Go to icon and switch out our icon. Let's repeat the steps one more time. This one will be Twitter. Now let's go back to the first container. Select the grid. You can switch the vertical alignment here if you wanted to align the picture to the center of the content. Scroll down to display rules. Look for post, all post, and publish. Let's take a look. Here we go. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.